Hey, no intro this time. Look at how this tub came. I just opened it and it looks like burnt or something. I have no idea um, what this is. I will admit that this sat in my RV for a while before I opened it, probably like a month. But still, I don't see how anything like this could have happened in there. Um, literally not a clue what is going on here but this didn't deter me from using the dye or anything it's not like it's something that i have to eat um it, it's just going on my hair and it looks fine and it smells fine so <laughs> i did just go for it today i'm using lunar tides in pastel periwinkle as you can see i'm pretty much blonde right now um the other blue that i used faded out in one wash one um, and it was pretty much gone, which I'll admit is partially my fault, I guess, <laughs> because I diluted that one with conditioner. It's like 90% conditioner, so of course it just all came out. Um, this one, I'm not going to dilute with conditioner at all, even though it looks a little bit darker than pastel periwinkle to me personally, but that's okay. I'm just going to get my hair slightly damp. I pretty much just um, got my hands wet and ran them through my hair to kind of get it slightly damp to just dilute it slightly. I've used Lunar Tides in the past and I remember doing it with damp hair and using just one tub for my whole head of hair. Um, I think on dry hair you would need more tubs and I only have one tub so I forgot to wear gloves this time but that's okay. Um, it is a light color and it did wash out pretty much completely from my hands uh, in the shower. This dye might fade quickly, I'm not sure. I've heard that pastels pretty much always fade quickly, they'll come out in like a few washes. Honestly, that's fine with me. Um, I've been blonde like this for about a week and I've really enjoyed this week. <laughs> being blondes. Um, blonde was a color that I never thought that I would intentionally go. It just never felt like something that was me. I thought I wouldn't feel like myself if I ever tried blonde. I actually feel really good blonde. <laughs> I surprised myself a little bit. I feel really good with blonde hair. So if this fades, I don't really mind that much. And also, it's such a nice blank canvas to have blonde hair because I can try so many different colors. As long as I stick to like light colors and pastels that are gonna fade pretty quickly, I think I can go through a lot of different colors. And yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun to me. I don't know why I never did this earlier. Um, I can't imagine going back to like black or dark green or blue or anything at this point because this is just so fun <laughs> to have light hair um so I didn't really care about like doing the roots first and then like the other hair last or anything I literally just sectioned it off and started with the bottom and went to the top and yeah I will let you guys know how this turns out okay so this is what it looks like um this is not periwinkle I'm in some really bright intense lighting right now but I'm not sure if this looks completely accurate, but it is blue. It is light blue. Um, and it didn't really show up that well on the roots. The roots are like still blonde, I guess, but like more of a gray, maybe even like a green tint, which I don't like at all. And some of the pieces down here, it didn't really take to that well. Um, this is a pretty color. It's like just a baby blue, which is really nice. It's not exactly what I was going for though. I was definitely hoping for more of a periwinkle. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty. Let me show you in another lighting because I'm in like really harsh light right now. Like I think in my bathroom mirror, it looks kind of good, but keep that in mind if you want to use this color. Um, it's not really periwinkle. I'm not seeing many purple tones. It's very blue. It's a really pretty blue. It's just not exactly what I wanted. And if your hair looks like the color that my roots looked um, before I dyed, before I dyed my hair, it might not really show up that well. It feels like your hair has to be really like light 
almost white. So yeah, I'm not super happy with this. I'm kind of going to try to wash it out. I'm sure it's going to wash out really quickly. Um, I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. Um, excuse the texture of my hair also. It's been out in the rain and dried frizzy, but yeah. So this is what it looks like after one wash in which I shampooed, I think, three times. Um, it's pretty faded from what it was, but as you can see, there's still blue and even maybe some purple tones in here, actually. But it sucks that it came out so uneven because it is kind of a pretty color, but it looks extremely patchy. And the thing at the roots really bothers me, like why did the roots not accept the color i just hate that so much and this is what it looks like after two washes i shampooed three times again in the shower um just destroying my hair with shampoo <laughs> so much shampoo it doesn't look that different but i feel like it it is coming out more um it's almost back to what it was before but definitely a little bit more icy blue toned which honestly is gorgeous. I love icy blue. If it stayed on the roots and wasn't patchy, I would be obsessed with this. Um, but it just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look that great because of the whole roots thing. The contrast of those two colors just kind of looks insane. So I have a couple options here. <laughs> um, I can just keep shampooing it and see if I can get it back to that like really white blonde and just keep it blonde. Or I could try some sort of color remover method. Absolutely am not going to do color fix or color oops because that shit smells so bad. And also it destroys the hair and I'm absolutely not bleaching it again. It would probably just like fall off. I don't know. I could try the baking soda method, which I've done before. That might work. I don't know if it's worth it to do that yet. I might just, I'm probably just going to keep shampooing it and see if I can get it back to the whitish color. Another option would be to try to like color correct this with another color. Like I wanted periwinkle. So what if I put like a really light really diluted purple on top of all of this if you guys have any other ideas <laughs> let me know what i should do i feel like this is kind of a disaster oh my god okay thank you guys for watching please help <laughs> okay bye